Hi again folks, back with another uh, little Geiger counter review. Uh, this one is something that I've been after for quite a while. Uh, this is the Beery One, another of the little Geiger counter sort of key ring meters that came out after the Chernobyl disaster. Uh, this one has just arrived from Russia. Um, I bought it on Etsy. Uh, as you can see, I haven't opened it yet, so I'll, uh, I'll do that now. So what I'll do is I'll open it here um, first show it to you and then I'll swap to the sort of the close-up camera and uh, you can see what it looks like when after I power it up. Now this is a proper original um, sort of Soviet era one and uh, there it is. So it is a proper original and I've always wanted an original one. Um, and yes, it has the little battery adapters inside. So I have batteries for it. So what I'll do is um, I'll get these batteries opened and uh, we'll swap over to the second camera. We'll get it up nice and close and uh, you can see it detecting some sources. So yeah, quick jump cut. Okay, the device is so small it is probably better that I do this. Now we can see there's the back. there's the front so it's it's reasonably easy to understand obviously the the rear of it um is not in english so uh 12 beeps per minute is normal background 12 to 24 beeps a minute is 30 to 120 micro ronkin 24 to 60 beeps a minute is 120 to 300 micro ronkin and anything above that is 300 upwards micro ronkin. Okay, so the closest thing to the original batteries, now this originally came with a battery charger and you plugged it into the wall and it charged the little batteries for it. You can see the little, there's a little plastic battery holder inside there. So the closest thing to the originals are called LR, well, let me see, LR9s. So I got them on Amazon. I think they were like three or four quid. Um, apparently they do last a long time though. So let me see, positive side down is at the top. And positive side up is at the bottom. Okay. That's it. And then little on off switch there we go and it begins to tick and every time it detects a pulse you get a little beep and you should be getting 12 a minute that's just normal background here so I uh, will imagine that is what you will get so I'll bring in a couple of sources here. So I'll bring in some strontium 90. So there's a SBM 21 in this little tiny, tiny, tiny little Geiger Miller tube in the bottom there. So I'll set that about here and I'll slowly start bringing. Oh, look at that there. Now I am, um, let me see where my finger is. The source is about, let me see, in fact, I'll turn it around. There's the source there. So you can see it's already picking it up and it's that distance away. So very, very sensitive little tube. I'm actually surprised how sensitive for how small it is. But you can see they're totally off scale. But yeah, yeah, that's really sensitive for the size of it. I'm quite surprised at that. Uh, you would, you know, in an antique shop, uh, this would be uh, quite a handy little device to keep in your pocket um, or a car boot sale or something like that there. You know, military fair or something. If you wanted to test, uh, if you wanted something discreet in your pocket that you wanted to just, you know, test a meter in an antiques fair. I think if you pull out a Geiger counter, counter in an antiques fair and start going around everything, the sellers probably will know what you're up to. And I have seen in the past them putting the price of something up because they see that I know that I'm buying it for, you know, because it is, uh, 
radioactive. If you sort of play it dumb and just want the bad because it looks nice, you'll maybe get a little bit cheaper. You know, just things like that there. But that could just maybe be being paranoid. <laughs> but yeah, it's very, very sensitive. I'm really surprised at how sensitive it is. Um, that tube is awesome. SBM21. Um, I'll have a little look. It looks as if it's been glued. I can see evidence that it's been glued here with, um, with super glue in the past. So I will not op try to open this because the plastic will probably crack. But I'll have a look online to see how you would go about opening this and see if I can have a look at what the SBM21 tube looks like inside. But just like buses, um, I've been after one of these for quite a long time. And uh, it's quite funny because the two days after I got this one, it's the same product, but slightly modernized. Uh, so this is a UK version of the Berry one. So as you can see, we have English language and the instructions on the back are in English. So it's, uh, yeah. It's pretty weird how, you know, it's, it's exactly the same unit. Obviously they came in different colors. Um, I tend to see the black ones more commonly for sale. And they've stuck these new labels on them and uh, makes them, well, that doesn't make them more usable, but it makes them slightly more user friendly, I suppose. But what we have here, same unit. Um, they've made one minor alteration inside in that the battery compartment, they have 3D printed um, a little adapter so you can put LR44 batteries in instead of the LR9s and it just makes it a little bit more user friendly, easier to get the batteries, cheaper as well. You can pretty much pick those batteries up in you know, any supermarket. And we'll turn this one off, turn this one on. Um, same beep, same LED light, clicks a little bit. Um, we'll bring in the Strontium 90 and see what happens. Yep, still a sensitive. Yep, still a sensitive. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's um, it's nice. I, I can see again that it's been glued. I can see a little bit of residue of glue at the bottom. I can see it shiny here at the bottom. So I think it has been glued at one point. So again, I'm not going to try to open this because I don't want to break them. Um, especially don't want to break this one. To get one at that price in this, you know, day and age is pretty rare. I remember when these were, you know, 20 quid a couple of years ago on eBay and you could buy them any day of the week you wanted one. You know, there's a guy, I'm pretty sure it's like $400 or something he's looking for. It's something absolutely ridiculous like that. And they just are not worth that. I'll probably put this one on display and I'll use this one. And it's, yeah, I uh, I really like these. Really, really like them. Always wanted one and just never been able to get one at the right price. And once I got that one, I just thought, ah, what the hell? I'll go and get this. I had a bit of money left over from sort of all the uh, Christmas shopping and things. So I thought, I'll get this. I'll go on online and buy this too. Um, AnythingRadioactive.com are a good website. They do sell little, you know, sort of radioactive curiosities and things like that there and some Geiger counters. I find that, again, as I mentioned before, they're slightly overpriced with some of their items. And, you know, I tend to then go to eBay and private sellers because they will always be cheaper. But uh, yeah, still nice to have. I've got the original box here as well. Um, so that's the original box for the Beery one, which I don't tend to see very often. In fact, this box was sent to me by Anything Radioactive. Uh, it didn't. I didn't get it with this, but I got it uh, with the one from here, and it has the original instruction manual and everything inside it. Now it's all in Ukrainian, but there it is, the original manual. And I've run it through um, Google Translate, and it, you know, it, it does. Uh, it does tell you everything you need to know. And then I've got the little sort of report to let you know that it's been checked by somebody. And you can see there, I don't know if you can see it, 1991. So it's uh, still working absolutely perfectly. Such a simple little device. And uh, that, I'm really impressed with that SBM21 tube. Really, really good little tube inside it. But there we go. 
Um, but yeah, nice little unit. If you can get your hands on one, I would definitely buy one. I think £100 for this is, uh, is probably a little bit expensive, but uh, I wish they sold the stickers. If they sold the replacement stickers, that would be really handy. Now, they do sell the battery adapter. So if you want to put the battery adapter from, you know, the new version in this, I think it's like three pounds for the battery adapter they sell. So you can actually fit it in this. Now, because I was able to get the LR9 batteries, I don't really need to, but uh, it might be something I look at doing in the future now that I have a, a you know, a, well, let's say a real one, now that I have an original. But listen, folks, as always, thank you very, very much for watching and uh, I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.